Hello, Lenny. Elise. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. Yeah, we and are. we'd love to welcome everyone back to Cooking with Lenny and Elise. Well, I think it's more like Elise and Lenny. It's and both Elise, of us. I wanted to just point out that the last time we had our cooking show, we were in... Well, We were the, here. We were in... Yeah, but yes. it was, there was nothing here, basically. We were here, but and there was what nothing. A yes, what a exactly. And we love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And... We are with our now not so mysterious chef, chef but also <laughs> baker. the person that built. Exactly. Us. Yes, so, exactly. Uh, Richard so Anderson. Richard Anderson, who is also our resident expert yeah. on the holiday trifle. So yeah, that is why we're here today. <laughs> today we're going to make a sherry trifle, which is a traditional English dish. Do you make this every year? Richard? Every year. Every year. On Boxing Day. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what's Boxing Day? Boxing Day is the day after Christmas. The 26th. And it's nothing to do with punch-ups or anything like that. <laughs> so we're going to make the tri... We're going to help you make the tri right. that you make every year. Right. This is a, a, a fairly complicated <coughs> recipe. So oh <laughs> first we have to make a cake, and then we have to let the cake sit for a day, and then we have to cut it up and make the trifle. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is make the cake. Okay. So we're going to need to turn on the oven, Alright. So we're going to turn it on, preheat it to 325. 325. Okay. Yep. So... It's done. I think you heard it. I just wanted to make sure yeah. there was nothing. Success. In there. Right, success. <laughs> okay, so here are the ingredients for the, uh, for the cake. Right. And wow. um, so we have uh, flour, we have sugar, we need some baking soda, salt, brandy, very important, butter, and um, almond extract, vanilla extract, and orange extract. Wow. Awesome. Do we need a bowl, Richard? Well, yeah, we're going to do it in okay. here. So the first thing to do and is... Uh, to make so the cake. Elise to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> the butter needs to be soft. So I left it out for a couple of hours. Oh, excellent. And we're going to put that... This You're going to put both Richard is the yep. expert. Yep. Wow. I think I can unwrap the butter. All right. Are very good, and we're going oh, to keep. keep we're going oh, to keep these. Keep them? Yeah, because we're going to need those okay. in a bit. Okay. Okay. Here, so Look at this. this in here. Okay. Trusty mixer, and we're going to cream the butter. All right. Okay, so we're going to let that, that go for a little mixer. bit. And while we're doing that, we need uh, two um, two cups of sugar. Two cups of sugar. So, as a warning to everybody, this is not exactly a low-cal dish. So we need two cups two of sugar. Two cups of this. Wow! Ah! Sorry. Do okay. I just throw yeah. it in? Slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly. How's that rate? Yeah, oh, that's like good. Technique, yeah, very good. That's why we have this huge honking bag. <coughs> okay, done. Okay, so we let that... Uh, Go for a while until it's like a lemony color. Okay. Where's my uh, spatula thing? It's ready to eat. Are you gonna crack eggs in that now? <laughs> yeah, in a second. Can I crack the eggs? Uh, I guess so. Here, the other thing we need. <laughs> oh, sour cream. Sour oh, cream. wow. This is just getting better and better. Yeah. Then, we need half a cup of brandy. Oh, put, throw it in? N no, no, not yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not exactly neat. Yeah, it might be a little bit. Too much? A bit too much. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now the eggs can go in one at a time. So All those? All right. two, no, eight. Uh, no. Just five. Five eggs. Five eggs. I bought extra in case we drop one. Or two. Okay, yeah. so... How many is that? Three? Three. This is like primo brandy. Okay, yes. So. Excellent. So... Richard, a half cup? Half a cup of brandy. Okay. Which is like most of this bottle. Some vanilla. What? I think there might be a shell or two. That's okay. It'll a little rough it. Oh. I don't see it though. Okay, then we're going to put half a teaspoon each of uh, the orange and half a teaspoon of almond. Excellent. So, Richard, is trifle English? Um, yeah, I guess so. 
mean, I mean, this is this is you know traditional this English. This one dish. is English because Richard yeah, is English. But I mean, don't even know how to oh, open I think a bag of flour. Look what I've done. Oh my goodness. You know, the Italians have like uh, tiramisu. Oh, that's oh, kind of, that's that kind like a trifle. That's kind of like a trifle. Oh, that's so. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And then we're going to add also a teaspoon of salt. You know, I don't think trifle is that big in this in the United States. No, maybe Did not. Did you ever go to a restaurant and have trifle? No. No, me neither. Now, but why do we have to sift the flour? Because that's what makes they it tend thinner. To oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this is called a bunt pan. Has nothing okay. to do with baseball. You could uh, have difficulty uh, getting a ball down the third baseline with one of those. Well done, Elise. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. It's glorious. And then, do you want to do the honors? Sure. Lower Lenny, would you like to? I think you should, Lenny. What are yeah. we going to do? You're just going to slop it in there. Oh my God, that is good. That is some good glue. At least you should have a little taste. I can smell the sugar it's the and, sugar and, and the brandy the from the here. Brandy. <laughs> I know, the smell alone is you could, quite cosmic. Wait, I can't see anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you could just take a swig of brandy. That's true. Actually, you know what? I'm going to. <laughs> I'm getting a little glass. That's an idea. It's only fair. How long is this going to cook, Richard? Okay, so this usually takes about an hour and a half. Okay, at yep. 325. Yep. Let that out. So, Richard, have you enjoyed working at Apple Hill? Lenny, you know I have. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, have you enjoyed working with Lenny and Elise on the cooking show? <laughs> well, that was going to be our next question. Oh, okay, I'm afraid to ask it. Yeah, I wouldn't ask it. Wait till the end. I'm getting to the oven. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. And I, so I think now we're going to head over to the Apple Hill String Quartet is going to play one movement of a quartet by alumnus Tasia Sally. Hi everyone, I'm T. I use he, they pronouns and I've been going to Apple Hill since sixth grade and I'm now in my first year at Swarthmore College. I first started composing this piece in March of 2020 and I finalized some changes in March of 2021. I hope you enjoy.
Richard, I would say this is a work of art. It is beautiful. Well, thanks. <laughs> We've, uh, it's cooled down. We yep, it cooled down. We took it out. It's cooled down. It's cooled. It looks gorgeous. Oh, yes. You can't cut it right away. Okay. You have what to. What do we need to do? Wait, I just got here. You Lenny. Got here. Yes, it's been cooled. Oh my it's, God. It looks. Don't touch it, Lenny. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Richard. Yeah, but we're not allowed to cut it yet, Lenny. What has to so happen? So what's okay. next to prepare so it? You have to leave it at least 24 hours. And unfortunately, that we're not going to do that this time. So don't follow our example for this. You should listen to Richard. Right. You're going to let it sit for 24 hours. But because we want to have the rest of the staff enjoy it tomorrow, we're going to actually come back in the middle of the night what? to assemble. Lenny, these are the sacrifices <laughs> you have to make for good, excellent art. So oh we're going to meet back. The, we'll time? set our alarms. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe 3. 3 3.30. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, once it's cool, you do need to wrap it up okay. in some foil. So Excellent. we'll do that. Ooh. That's it. All, all right. Oh, at least in the middle of the night. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I have to leave now. I have to talk to Jim, the artist that did the painting. Oh, and, uh, exciting. I guess we'll meet. Tonight. Yeah. In the middle of the night. In the morning. <laughs> okay. See you then. See you all then. <laughs> I'm standing here with one of my favorite people in this area. His name is Jim Murphy. And Jim is the painter of this beautiful painting that we see for every concert. And I'll never forget, Jim, the first time I saw one of your paintings. Yes. It was, it was in uh, Brubaker's, had a, was starting a little little branch, I guess, called Terra Nova. Yeah, that was a coffee. That's our yeah. coffee. And I walked in the back door, and this painting was the first thing I saw. It just really <laughs> made a huge impression on me. So I was, I've always been very thankful that it's here at Apple Hill. And I wanted to ask you as the painter, what it's like for you to see your painting in back of so many musicians and so much music? Uh, well, it's really super uh, meaningful to me because uh, music is such a big part of my life also. Um, creating music, playing music, and mm -hmm. uh, that's always been my other passion besides painting as far mm -hmm. as creating and uh, but it's all about energy especially the quartet I fell in love with you guys when you played at Brewbreakers one time <laughs> and the old Brewbreakers and I was like oh yes <laughs> so my paintings I you know I always try to infuse energy you know and I think since I was a child I was always spent time in the woods and loved the energy of the woods personally I don't think of myself as a landscape artist even though mm -hmm. Uh, most of my paintings are landscapes. Yeah. What do you do? Do you start? Do you start with the tree, tree trunks and then do the leaves? I always start out in charcoal, just oh. charcoal that that I can just brush off. I just it's yeah. just a way of just getting something down, yeah. and then I start building. And like with this painting, you know, I didn't really have much in mind, um, but but the movement, and the trees, and the colors, and so in some ways, again, the music. It's like uh, when you're jamming with somebody and you're playing off somebody, I sort of play off with what's happening there. And, oh, yeah, then I'll put this there and I'll put this not there. You know? Yeah, yeah, and, uh, got it. So I thought maybe ask you a little bit about yourself. How long have you lived here in the Monadnock area? Uh, like well, I've lived in Keene for 48 years. 48 years. Were you always an artist? I always had an interest, even Ooh, when yeah. I was very young. I remember... Um, going into the Metropolitan Museum of Art and going up the stairway, and there was a Monet. Mm. And it was just like, ah. That did it? That did it. But I didn't all of a sudden start painting like that. I, I've gone through all different phases, you know, trying to search for what suits me best. Somebody uh, in my new band said, Jim, you, you know, we were surrounded by our painting, my paintings in my studio. He said, Jim, you seem to have found your sound and your, uh, your, your style. You know, that's funny you mentioned your band because when we were building our buildings, we always would eat lunch with all the guys that worked here. And I was talking to some of the guys and they were like, oh yeah, we play in a, 
band with Jim Murphy. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought he was an artist. And they were like, no, he, he has a band. So you have a band too, right? Yeah, so I have a, a new band, that, wow. mostly guitar. I, I'm a guitar play player. Is but I can play, play a little bit of keyboard okay. and bass. And yeah. yeah, so we're working it up. You know, when a lot of musicians here that come to Apple Hill, they always go into Keene and they go to Brew Bakers for coffee. Yeah. And your son is the owner of Brew right. Bakers. And, and my uh, daughter in law. And your daughter in law. Yeah. And your daughter, is she a ceramicist? Yes. Yeah. And she made this one of my three favorite mugs of all time. <laughs> I love this mug. And so my, one of my favorite moments in my house, one day I was standing in my house and I had bought a, a small painting of, of yours. Yeah. And I was standing at the, looking at the painting, holding your daughter's mug, <laughs> drinking your son's coffee. <laughs> and I, my slogan was, I'm having a Murphy moment. Well, so. you could have a bigger mo Murphy really? moment. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a friend of mine, he comes up to me and he says, Jim, you know what the best thing about Brew Bakers oh. is the granola bars. And I said, oh, my wife makes those. All right, all right, <laughs> you got me. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna get a granola bar. <laughs> well, Jim, thank you so much for, oh. for being here. Thank you for painting this beautiful painting. Yeah, I'm so pleased. letting I'm us pleased. have it for a little while. Everybody loves it. So cheers, Jim, right, thank cheers. you so much. <laughs>"'Twas a night in December, amidst snow and ice. Not a creature was stirring, except Richard and mice. He worked in the kitchen, making custard with care, with hope that it would not attract a large bear. Add sugar, add cornstarch, egg yolks by the dozens. Add milk, then add cream or their non-dairy cousins. And heat till it turns. From a soup to a bisque, don't let it boil and keep up the whisk. Until how many hours had passed? Oh, so many, just so it would be finished for Elise and for Lenny. And when it was made by these methods obtuse, there'd be trifle for all and for all. Hey, that's a sharp looking moose.
We are thrilled to announce our in-person 2022 Summer Chamber Music Workshop. We will be offering three 10-day sessions this year, one each in June, July, and August. Applications will be available for everyone starting January 18th, 2022. We can't wait to hear the sounds of chamber music drifting out of the barn once again. Making the custard, whipping the cream, and now I'm putting the uh, trifle together. Lenny, we're behind. We're, we, <laughs> we blew it. Okay, All right. We're going to get going. All right. So well, you can Richard. come and help here. Okay, good. So the first thing to do is to put a layer of cake in the bottom of the okay. trifle pan. And then you want me to finish uh, bowl. Cutting? Yeah. Oh, Lenny can. And then we just put a little bit around the sides, just okay. up, the, up the edges. Like that? More yeah, than maybe, that? Maybe a little bit there. Sorry, Lenny. Right. I'm pouring in on your spot. <laughs> this is oh. cream sherry. Cream sherry, yeah, okay. Yeah, sweet. It's sweet sherry. You don't want to use Do uh, dry sherry. You want to use sweet one sherry. One more thing right here. This is uh, <laughs> Harvey's Bristol cream. All right. So. And what's that, a quarter cup? Yeah, this is a quarter of a cup, and then you just... Drizzle? Drizzle it in, in, over the cake. Oh. I Lenny, think these that's are pretty beautiful. Awesome that is. Mm. Let the sherry soak in. And then. I really want some. You take some raspberry jams. Oh, wow. wow. So you just dump it in. This yeah. is my kind of recipe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Coat the soaking the cake. Yeah. cake. Exactly. Excellent. Lots of jam. Then I have a feeling the cream is. Cream next. or no, custard? No, custard. 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 Put a cup of custard in. Ooh. Oh. Okay, now we're going to uh, repeat, but you can break it up so that it kind of oh, got it. So fills, like in, it fills in the spot. Yeah. Okay. And then that, that yeah. Oops. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, sorry. I know you're <coughs> assembling a cake right now, but I have a feeling you're always thinking about what you're going to assemble next at Apple Hill. Like, what's your next, Very smooth. What's your right? construction project? We have to finish the new construction here. I mean, the kitchen's pretty much done, but there's a little bit more t to be done downstairs. Downstairs. And then we're going to build a new ramp I for do, the... Do I do this? Yes. Yeah, you can do that. I don't think a lot of people know that Apple Hill is 100 acres and we have 40, 41 buildings. Yep. And you fixed up the majority of the buildings. That's amazing. I, you and your crew, pretty amazing accomplishment. So this trifle should be like... Well, I Lenny, think, we are also helping with it, which <laughs> no, I was, thinking was not that, the case with the well, other Well, I, I hope you're going to help with the ramp, too. And Oh, dear. No, I, so. I sanded those doors, but that was about that it. That is very true. I mean, but these about doors, it. They look these doors, smooth yeah. as yeah. butter. Yeah. Yes. I actually put as tiles as on the, in the basement. We both they're, help. They're still up. There's still quite a lot of... Uh, Layers? So now no, custard? I was say cabins oh, that need to be... <laughs> There's still <laughs> some cabins. The trifle. That yeah. need to be... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do the custard? Ooh. Ooh. You branched out, I have the <laughs> Yeah. So, Elise. Yeah. What? No, we're supposed to be asking Richard questions. No, I want to ask you just a couple questions All because right. you just finished a concert at Keene State. Oh, yes. And it was the first, would you consider that the first live concert that you've done? It was the first full concert because we played here for the open yeah. house and we yeah. actually played up in Clare, but it was the first full concert. Yeah. Um, I think everybody probably can guess what it was like for you to be in front of a live audience, but I'm curious if you had, what did that, what was that like for you? Were you nervous? Um, Were you excited? I was, was both, it, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember, even Jesse said he couldn't quite remember what his pre-concert <laughs> routine was, mm. you know, because mm -hmm. it's just been very different for, mm -hmm. you know, over a year and a half. But it felt really wonderful to be able to yeah. connect with people yeah. in person. There's also something very ephemeral about it, so if 
if something doesn't go exactly how you planned, it's okay. It's 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 gone. <laughs> it's into the yeah. mist. Yeah. Um, and I was at the on. concert. I thought it was a really great concert. <laughs> Thank I you, the Lenny. That sounded fantastic. And that hall at Keene State, that's a nice hall. It's a nice hall, hall. yeah. It's a really nice Uh-oh. Hall. Wait, Richard, let me. Oh. Oh. Poor Richard. <laughs> Lenny. Anything Lenny. else? Lenny. <laughs> it's my bow hand. I think uh, we have a few things coming up. We, we do. We just put them on the website, actually, yep. today. Um, so people should go to our yep, website. Yep, the first... Okay. One of the first one around here, I think it's February 11th, we'll be playing at Terra Nova, the, Nova the, the, Arts. Like and they have a nice, bakers, yeah, Brew yeah. Bakers, they have a beautiful stage. And we'll be playing a piece by Carolyn Shaw, by uh, New Hampshire composer Miriam Sherrick, who's Miriam. also, I, we love Miriam, oh, also yeah. an Apple Hill alum. No, all of it. And then uh, Beethoven's Opus 95, which, awesome. so all, I'm well, so thrilled for all of them. Layer, maybe. Yeah. I just want to eat this now. <laughs> I know this is going to be a really weird question. It might be too I hope it's for Richard. Well, it's for both of oh, you. Oh, dear. There's going to be a new director at Apple Hill. Oh, right. I'm wondering if you're... We're so nervous. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> we're sad that you are leaving, That's what I want Lenny. to hear. That's why I asked the question. See, even no, at but... 3 in the morning, I know to <laughs> have some tech. Well, no, I'm just No, curious. but we are sad, but also it's very a, excited. It's a big change. It is. Well, but I think we, if we didn't ooh, know Javier... I was going to say, you've known him for a long um, time. Yeah. And I think he's a spectacular person and yeah. musician and thinker. Lenny, you can still be a guest on so it's many true. things. Yeah. And it's we'll true. still Custom. have our cooking show, Lenny. We have our Well, I don't know. We might be fired. <laughs> yeah. This really is my kind of cooking, though, because it's just. Finally. OK. Wow. What are they, what's going to happen to all that cake? There's you cake. can eat it. Oh, <laughs> you can eat it. yes. There's always cake <laughs> left over. Oh, there is. OK, <laughs> that's normal. Yeah. Normally, you put. Uh, Almonds on top, oh. but this like is slivered almonds. Yes, slivered okay. but this is Apple Hill. No, oh no, 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 no it's a nut-free no, zone. No nuts. <laughs> nut-free so. trifle, Richard. That was very thoughtful of you. Okay. Worth coming in at three in the morning. Now this is, this this is this is where you come in. I'm gonna make a design. Yes, yes. do it. <laughs> I'm always going to start with something right in the middle. Uh huh. Then I think <laughs> I'll do this. Wow. We've been rebuilding and recovering this past year, our 50th, and all of this has been possible thanks to your support. But for those of you who have not yet donated in 2021, we want to hear from you. Please join our many supporters and donate by December 31st. We want a strong finish to 2021 and a strong start to the next 50 years of Apple Hill, fulfilling our mission of diversity and inclusivity through chamber music.